If you've got an EcoBoost Mustang with a 10-speed, what you need is a trans brake. In a drag race, when two cars are similar, the race is usually won at the tree and at the 60-foot. So quality launching and staging features allows the driver to focus on the lights instead of the car. If you don't know what a trans brake is, the short answer is that it's a drag racing feature for automatic cars that holds the car in one spot while getting ready to launch, but doesn't use the brakes. The name sounds like some kind of thing you'd buy at a racing shop and bolt up to your car, which is actually true in some cases, but this version of a trans brake is all computer controlled with a stock transmission. It's simply a tuning feature applied via the access port. What happens is that the transmission can be programmed to apply line pressure to the clutch packs in the transmission to both the first and the reverse gear at the same time, meaning the car stays put even when you're not holding the brake while the engine is revving up. Once the tune is on the ECU and the feature is enabled on the access port, then using it is super easy. It literally only takes one finger. All you do is come to a stop as you begin staging, hold the left paddle on the steering wheel for a couple seconds, let go of the brake, apply the gas, and that's it. The engine revs, boost builds, and as soon as you let that paddle go... The next thing to understand that you experienced drag racers are probably already thinking about is bumping or creeping at the beams. With the new 10-speed Mustang, the access port offers both options, and they're just as easy to use as the basic trans brake feature. Once you're on the trans brake and the throttle, if you still need to bump into the beams, all you have to do is tap the right paddle with your other hand and the car will bump forward until you're properly staged. And if you want a smoother approach, we've added the creep option as well. And you can switch between either option in a matter of seconds in the adjustments menu on the access port. It works almost the same for the driver. You still hold the left paddle for trans brake, but you simply squeeze and hold the right paddle to allow the car to creep. The only difference is that the car more smoothly and progressively creeps forward instead of the aggressive and rocky bumping behavior. But that's not all! Launching in general is rough on any car. This Mustang drivetrain is tough, but nothing's bulletproof. So in addition to the custom launching features, we've also added in several safety measures that are both proactive and reactive. They can intervene in the event that specific signs of potential engine or transmission damage have been recognized. These include active time for the trans brake, clutch slip, engine coolant temp, knock count, transmission fluid temp, and vehicle speed. All of these are monitored in real time with maximum and minimum values that the ECU can reference to either restrict usage or shut down the feature if anything seems out of the acceptable ranges, therefore preventing a major failure and saving you a lot of tears and dollars. And last but not least, there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all launch. The amount of power that you make, the temperature outside, the tires you're using, or the surface you're on all have a big impact on how the car behaves when launching. Some of that's just a product of your tune, but a huge advantage of the access port are the real-time adjustments that can be made to your launching features as needed without having to reflash. The two most common scenarios are the ability to control wheel slip and creep behavior. For example, when the car launches, if you get too much or too little tire spin, the user adjustable load offset lets you quickly increase or decrease your load target while on the trans brake prior to launching, in order to dial in that perfect 60 foot on your next pass. Also, clutch pressure offset can easily be tweaked to change the speed at which the car creeps, because you don't want the car to move too fast or too slow when staging. The combo of the trans brake and the ability to make real time adjustments to fine tune your setup makes the addition of these features a lot more than just adding launch control.